What's up YouTube? This is Jose21 here. And as promised, I said that I will make a video on Microsoft Flight Simulator X running on my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Just gonna zoom out here to show you the actual computer itself. Yes indeed, this is a 13-inch MacBook Pro. If you don't already know what one looks like already, this is just my case that's on here. This is what it would look like without the case, blah blah blah. See, this is just my box here, MacBook Pro. Yep. Okay. And it just kind of fell. Okay. Anyway, this video is going to show you how Microsoft Flight Simulator X or 10 runs on a MacBook Pro. And I mean, it's still Windows because the way Bootcamp partitions it is full Windows. This is full Windows. This is not virtual sh virtual machine. This is not Parallels. This is a completely separate partition from a Mac OS partition. So what I'm going to go over here is you know, some rendering, 3D, how it looks, how it performs, stuff like that. The flight that I will be using is departing from Newark Liberty International Airport at 6.30 a.m. My friend who watches my videos will get the reference to this flight. And it lands in Nashville International at 8.30 a.m. As I said, my friend will get the reference. You'll probably be like, okay, random flight. So... As you can see, the color scheme has changed to Windows Vista, not Vista, uh, Windows 7 Basic because the 3D rendering cannot support the Windows Era theme while this game is running. You could hear the sound of the game right now. And once, and I need to add in here, this is actually the 64 bit of Windows 7 Ultimate. So I don't know if that'll affect it at all. I have downloaded. Microsoft Flight Simulator X or 10 SP1 just to make sure that it'll work because I think you need that. So I'm just going to load up my flight and then we're going to get right on into this. So as you can see we are at the gate at Newark Liberty International Airport. Uh, the jetway is hooked up to the plane, exits open and luggage is supposed to be loading but it's not up apparently. And uh, the reason why I didn't want to do a hypercam for this is because I want to show you, you know, that it's running on a MacBook Pro, not Windows-based computer, because you would just think, oh, well, maybe you're doing it on a Windows computer. No, this is a MacBook Pro. So, I just wanted to show you how amazing this game looks and how well it performs on a MacBook Pro. This game performs so much better on this computer than any other computer I've owned. The rendering is smooth, as you can see. Very nice. The graphics look stunning, especially with this NVIDIA graphics card. There's no lag, really, at all. However, there is one thing that is kind of annoying. This computer gets very, very hot when I play this game. So hot that the fans actually max out. Oh, there's someone just saying stuff to me. Just wait for that to... Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Uh, so hot that the fans are maxed out. And actually, if I mute the volume, you could hear the fans. That's how fast they're spinning. Another thing is the volume. It, it doesn't sound as great. The, the speakers don't sound as great as they do in Mac OS X. But that's just a feature of uh, because, you know... Uh, boot camp and whatnot, that that stuff right there. So, but it sounds perfectly fine when I use this game through my headphones, which is what I primarily do, or through my surround sound that I have in my room. It sounds amazing through there. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off and show you what it's like in mid-flight. So you could see the sky. I also have everything maxed out. I have global settings ultra high, bitrate maxed out, resolution maxed out, the um, graphics are maxed out, everything is maxed out so I could show you that this game runs so well even when everything is maxed out as high as it can go. The only thing is, like I said, is this computer gets very, very warm uh, with this game. However, it's nothing, these fans just really, the fans just spin very very quickly to cool it down so it still says cool the fan you could just hear the fans but like I said have my headphones listen to it there so I'm just gonna take off 
and like I said, show you what it is in mid-flight.